Okay, hey, welcome to the shop. We're working on a boat. It's a channel where we share tips and tricks to help you working on your boat and to have a great time while you do it. The jokes are campy, the production value is cheap, but the information is priceless. So, so stay tuned. My name's Eric with New Point Marine. Grab your tool bag. Let's work on a boat. Action. <clears throat> oh gosh, it's hot. All right, so here we are live on scene. Uh, so today we've got a little project to do and I thought I'd sh wanna share this with you. Uh, today we are installing a galvanic isolator. So uh, pretty simple little project, uh, not too exciting. The actual installation of this, uh, not that interesting. Nobody's gonna stay up late to see this. But uh, what is interesting is the reason that we're installing this isolator on this boat. And uh, what I, that's the part I'd like to share with you today is uh, why. Why we're installing this and what we hope to accomplish by installing this. So um, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put the camera down and get this thing installed, get the job done. And uh, we'll talk later about why uh, we're installing this this afternoon. So uh, see you back at the shop. Gosh, it's hot. All right, so here we are, we're back in the shop. Uh, we got that job wrapped up, and now it's time to talk a little bit about it. Uh, so what is it that made this particular project so interesting? Interesting enough that I wanna share it with you here today. Uh, this was the classic textbook example of how a galvanic isolator can really help protect our boat. So um, let's talk about that, but uh, first just a Quick little word about uh, what a galvanic isolator is and what it does. All right, so what is a galvanic isolator? Well, it's a device, looks a little like this. Um, we install this device, this isolator, in the AC safety ground on your boat, in series with the AC safety ground, the green wire, and your short power. And what it does is prevents small amounts of DC, DC current, from moving between your boat and the dock or the dock and your boat because when we plug in our shore power cord with our AC safety ground, we are tying our boat electrically to not just all the other boats that are in the marina, but also the marina itself. So you can think of uh, there's a, a floating dock with some metal structure to it, you're attaching your boat to that. If there's the uh, big steel sheet pylons that form a bulkhead, uh, you're tying into that also. So uh, it's not just the other boats. It's everything that's attached to that uh, grounding system. So you might ask, do I even care about this? Why do I care? Uh, it's small amounts, very low current, DC that's flowing, and it's on the safety ground. Who cares? What? What? Do I care about this? Uh, yes, you do. You care very much about this because it's that flow of DC current that is causing our underwater metals to corrode. And uh, we need to stop that. All right, so let's talk about the little boat that we worked on today. So uh, owner tells us he bought the boat new just a few years ago. And over the few years, he's noticed that he's seeing some corrosion forming on, on the lower units of the outboard and also on the brackets that bolt the outboard to the transom. So uh, we are called in to do a corrosion survey. And what we noticed was when we checked the voltage potential of our little boat in the water, uh, we got a reading of about negative 800 millivolts. Now when we go and we check the voltage potential at the marina, we're getting about negative 400 millivolts. So you can see right here, we have two different voltage potentials. And we are connected, the, by our safety ground here, our boat is connected to the dock and the rest of the marina. And anytime there is an imbalance, anytime there is a difference in voltage potentials, current is going to flow. And the current always moves from the area of more negative to more positive. So what's happening here was our little boat was giving up its electrons in the aluminum structure of the outboard to try and balance this out. And it was basically our little boat was protecting the marina. So. Uh, we need to stop the flow of this current. So there's a couple of things we can do. We can try and get these two numbers the same, because if they are the same, there won't be any current flow, but not really a, something we can do. Uh, we need the dock. We can't remove that from the, from the picture. And our boat, we can take our boat out of the water, but that's not really a practical thing. So the thing to do is to stop the flow 
of current on our AC safety ground. Now, we could cut that. That's a terrible, terrible idea to leave your boat ungrounded. But this is where the galvanic isolator comes in and does such a wonderful job because the galvanic isolator will stop the flow of DC current moving from our boat to the dock or the rest of the marina but it still allows the AC safety ground to be intact so any AC fault current will just be conducted back to source as it should be so it stops the flow of DC while allowing the flow of AC fault current if there is any so um, it's a great little great little device and uh, it goes a long way to protecting a boat this was just a, a classic example of it because we had such a difference in voltage potential and that was causing our issues with our outboards okay so I know that there's somebody out there getting ready to st start typing away in the comments that what about the sacrificial anodes on our outboard what were they doing great question if you were thinking that kudos to you great question actually the anodes, the sacrificial anodes on our outboard, really weren't doing much. Uh, for a sacrificial anode to protect a piece of metal, it needs to have a very solid, low resistance connection, electrical connection between the sacrificial anode and the metals we're trying to protect. In this particular uh, scenario, uh, the anodes did not have a really good low resistance connection between the sacrificial anode and the precious metals of our outboard. So uh, they, the sacrificial anodes really didn't do a lot for us, but the, uh, the parts of our outboard, they were giving it up to protect the marina. So anyway, just a, a little quick one. It was a, I thought it was an interesting little job. So uh, until next time, keep working on your boat.